So when we talk about what are the top priorities of the business community in Florida right now, and again, especially here in the capital city, we heard our chief economist today talk about how we, we think we're going to add just under 300,000 new jobs in Florida in 2021. Now, that, that means that small businesses have to do well, and that means that the legislature has to do no harm. We need to keep taxes low, regulations low, litigation low. And so a couple of our key priorities at the Florida Chamber, uh, for example, you know, we're all coming out of COVID right now. The last thing we need are billboard trial lawyers to sue every small business out of business. And so COVID liability protections for small businesses is issue number one. Also, while we're on the subject of small businesses, Florida is one of only two states that does not collect sales tax from out-of-state remote sales tax uh, operations. And that puts our small local retailers at a huge disadvantage. And so what we're trying to do this year is we're trying to close that remote seller loophole. And I like our chances. I, I like where we are. Um, that also leads to, you know, in COVID, we had over a million people lose their jobs in Florida. And that means that the unemployment insurance rates are going up. And so the legislature is looking at a scenario where we collect the out-of-state sales tax and we use it to buy down the unemployment insurance. And so that's really good news for businesses all over Florida. So if we can get the right workforce, if we can keep our taxes low, if we can fix our broken litigation climate, then small, all small businesses want is a shot to compete. They don't need an advantage and they don't need a disadvantage. We just have to make sure that Florida continues to be the model for America. And that's what we talked about today.